Well, good afternoon, Michael. How are you? Good afternoon, Pastor Phil. I'm very good. I'm good. I hope everybody out there is good. Yes. It has been a beautiful two or three days we've had in a row here. A little rain today. Yeah. And I think we're going to have some over the weekend. Well, it's Friday and it's time for an update. And Michael, uh, why don't you tell them about what's coming up on Sunday? Yes, we are so excited to be gathering together again in person as well as continuing to gather online. And so again, we have two services this week at 8 o'clock and 9.30. If you're planning to join us in person, uh, please make sure to go to our website. There's a big button that says registered here. Register here towards the top and just let us know you're coming so we we have an idea of how many people will be here. Uh, we have communion this Sunday, so um, awesome. whether you're in person or online, be preparing and thinking about that as we join together to worship on Sunday. Uh, that's wonderful. Well, you're going to be doing the worship, but I think it's your maiden voyage on the uh, doing is, the communion, yes, isn't it? Yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say, so that'll be really good. Yeah. Looking forward to Sunday. I hope you guys will be here. Either tune in or come in. One of the two. We're looking for you being a part of that. Let me read you a verse that's on my heart today. It's this one from 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. I preached this passage before we got into the COVID thing. It says, therefore, when we could no longer endure it, we thought it good to be left in Athens alone and to send Timothy, our brother and minister of God and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ to establish you and encourage you concerning your faith, that no one should be shaken by these afflictions, for you yourself know that we are appointed to this. Well, if you remember the teaching, Paul had to be separated from the people of Thessalonica because of the trouble that had arisen there. And uh, people that stirred up trouble came from the, the Berea. Actually, they showed up there and caused trouble and they had to get Paul out of town. They were afraid that he just wouldn't be able to do it. So Paul was separated from them and they were still in the same place. Well, in our case here at church, I kind of feel like I'm where I've always been, but I'm separated from you. Paul was so desirous to know about the spiritual well-being of his people that he sent Timothy. You know, I really can't do that. I, I can only come to you electronically from week to week. And uh, boy, we'd like to know how you're doing. Uh, we really would. And, and I'm just going to ask you, my, Michael, I think we could do that right here. Yeah. If, you'd, if you have any prayer requests or needs or concerns my, my email address is pwinfield at gracehome.com, or you can use the website, and it has a place you can, you can submit emails. We'd like to know how you're doing and what's going on and how we can, uh, how we can help you. And uh, if you're discouraged, let us know so we can pray. Or if you've lost your job, let us know so that we can pray and try to make sure that, that uh, you have your needs met. The reason I'm coming at you with this and talking to you from this passage of Scripture is our heart's desire is to be able to get things back to normal here at Grace Church. And, you know, we've been doing that, haven't we? We've been planning and trying to put dates on the calendar. We've had to move them several times yeah. to try to put things back to normal. Specifically, we were talking about the children's ministry, and our desire was to begin on the 5th of July to allow preschoolers to meet, to get, meet together again. Mm -hmm. Then on the 19th of July, we were going to bring in all of the other kids and let those classes meet up through the fifth grade. We even had some ideas about having one of our services be not quite so restrictive, having one service be, you know, a complete uh, social distancing service like we've been doing, and then perhaps another service be a little less than that. But you know, uh, in light of what's happening right now with the COVID-19 uh, uptick and surge all over our country, in fact, yesterday, I'm speaking on Friday, yesterday, Thursday was the largest single day of coronavirus confirm confirmed cases in this whole entire time. Hmm. And so, and even, so even our, our, our health officials are warning that there's a surge. The Iowa Department of Health is warning that there's a surge. And uh, you probably know that the governor extended, he, she, instead of letting, it, letting the, uh, the uh, quarantine type thing and the request that she had made, what did she call it? Emergency uh, Proclamation. Emergency health Proclamation. Health and instead of letting it expire, she, she extended it for another, uh, another month. So we feel obligated here at church not to change anything at this point. Uh, we'd like to say that everything's going to be back to normal by a certain day, but we just don't know. This is a fluid situation. Uh, we've never been through anything like this. We've checked with lots of churches in town, and we're kind of on the front edge of things, to be honest with you, on a lot. So what we're saying to you this afternoon is, is just please pray. Please be patient. 
Keep tuning in. Keep coming in through the reservation systems on Sunday. But uh, but don't give up hope. We're going to get this thing going again. God's going to, he's going to set us free from this eventually, and we're going to be able to get things back to normal. But we have to face the reality. So in conjunction with all of our elders that I've been in contact with them and our staff, we believe that we're not going to be able to have anything for children's ministry specifically where they get in rooms at the earliest, it'll be in August, and we'll actually have to look at this again at the end of the month of July. Well, folks, we're just telling you what's going on, trying to let you know that we're very concerned. We're taking this very seriously. And as everyone else, we just encourage you to be careful. Do your social distancing. Wear your mask when you need to wear it. If you have to wear gloves in certain situations, please do that. And uh, I'm not a doctor, but I'm listening to the doctors. I'm listening to the medical personnel. Grace Church, we love you. Please let us know how we can pray for you. Let us know how we can serve you. Um, I'm tired of looking at a camera lens. I'm just as being as honest as I can possibly be. I'd rather be looking at you right in the face and shaking your hand and slapping you on the back and telling you how much I love you in person. But I pray that this will suffice. I, I My waking hours and my going tonight prayer is for you. And uh, we're praying for you. We will see you soon, and everything will be back together, and we'll be doing things at full tilt. Anything else, Michael? Have a great Friday. Yeah, have a good day. We look forward to seeing see you on Sunday. Sunday.